Hey, what is up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Uh, we have a very interesting new piece of footage that was emailed over to me uh, that shows by some of the witnesses who were there who saw this thing uh, what to them looked as a UFO that had flown up into the clouds. Shortly after which, we see this water spout like formation or what amounts to water being sucked up out of the Mediterranean Ocean off of the coast of Algeria. And this was posted by one of the witnesses, the eyewitnesses who were there, who was recording this, uh, who is originally from Puerto Rico, but I guess had been visiting family or for whatever reason vacationing in Algeria on the Algerian coast. And there's a couple strange things that happen in this footage. First and foremost, we have this massive tube of water being sucked up into the clouds. And from the eyewitnesses that I've emailed with, this was very strange and it, it was very different from other so-called normal water spouts or water tornadoes as they're sometimes called that have been seen all over the world. These are very mysterious events that take place when you see some of these water spouts. And if you noticed in the footage, just before this water spout, as we'll continue to call it throughout this video, dissipates, we see a UFO fly out of sight. And this was said by one of the eyewitnesses to be the same UFO that flew up into the clouds just before the water began siphoning up into the clouds and is the same object that left directly after which, if you guys notice, this water spout dissipates. Soon as this UFO leaves, and again, I have witnessed footage of other water spouts, and some of the things that were strange about this, as reported by the eyewitnesses, was one, that it seemed to stay in the exact same spot for the duration that this water was being sucked up into the clouds. That's one. Another strange thing about this is that at times, we actually see secondary spouts of water being sucked up into the air but do not reach the clouds. It's almost as if they are being sucked up into something that we cannot see. And you're seeing a close-up of that here, where at one point we see three separate spouts. We see the main one in the middle, and then we see two more, uh, just moments later dissipating. Thirdly, we have this UFO that just before the camera began, because this basically appeared out of nowhere, and although we have some cloudy skies here, the eyewitnesses have stated that there was no storm, and that it was in fact just a cloudy day. And it was very strange, the way in which this band of water started to be siphoned, sitting in what appeared to them to be a locked position. In many of these water spout videos, natural water spouts, a lot of the times they'll be much larger, and like a tornado, they will be moving left and right, changing position, at many points traversing miles and miles across the ocean. So let's take a look at this UFO that is described by the eyewitness as much larger than a bird, um, much larger than a drone even, and is described as an egg-shaped object, a white egg-shaped object. So 
We'll go ahead and slow this down here just as the UFO passes by. And again, this was the same one that was seen flying up into the clouds just before this water started to be siphoned. Okay, so here we are, we see the object, and according to the eyewitness, whatever this thing was, it appeared to be spinning. It was seen coming out of the clouds and heading out towards the ocean. And another thing that was pointed out is look how smooth this thing is moving from the sky. It's not curving up or down, and the shape of it, as you guys are seeing here, looks nothing like a small bird flying by. And we'll go through a couple of frames just to give you a better idea of this object. So here's the first frame. We'll go ahead and zoom in as close as possible. And again, we see this very thick egg-like shape. We see what looks like some sort of other part, some sort of extremity, something attached to it. But the main body of this thing, again, very thick and oval and egg-shaped. That, according to the witnesses, looked metallic because it was actually very reflective. And you can actually see, looking at it here, you can see the cloud cover, this light cloud cover color being reflected off of the top of this thing. And on the bottom, we see it's in shadow. So this UFO was also very reflective. So we'll go to another frame here, where we see the same object. However, this arm, I guess you would call it, or this attachment, is now on the other side, which would seem to confirm the eyewitness testimony that whatever this thing was, it was spinning like a bullet. And now I'm going to show you the most mysterious frame that you actually don't see unless you actually pause it at this one particular frame. And that is this frame here. Just as the object is about to pass by this water being sucked up out of the ocean, I want you to look behind it and up in the clouds. Do you guys see it? Well, let's go ahead and zoom in. And here we have in the distance behind the object in the clouds, a triangular formation of objects that were moving so quickly out of the clouds that they have only been captured in one frame here. Now, I don't know if this connects with this UFO here, but it is very strange. And it would appear that we have two separate UFOs. The entire thing dissipates the moment that this UFO flies out of the clouds and out of sight. Poof, the band of water dissipates. Everything goes back to normal. And we have some photographs here showing the stunned people standing on the shore here in disbelief as to what they had just seen. So again, we'll play the footage here. And while I do that, I want to bring to your guys' attention the fact that this phenomena of water being sucked up from various bodies all over the Earth by UFOs is nothing new. In fact, we have reports of this happening that reach as far back as the 1960s and 70s. There was a particular sighting captured by a pilot back in 2015 who was flying over California uh, approaching a lake by the name of Scott's Flat Lake and what he witnessed from his airplane was a UFO sitting high above the lake and attached to it a long stream or beam as he called it of water that attached from the bottom of the UFO and stretched all the way down to the surface of the water and you're seeing that image here with the UFO as well as the stream highlighted and this was first featured by uh, Scott Waring over at UFO Sightings Daily. An amazing case, one of the only other cases that we have featuring one of these UFOs caught in the act while they are siphoning water from either a lake, an ocean, what have you. And here we have a closer look at the actual stream, which can clearly be seen here with the red arrow pointing to it. Much like the UFOs that we've documented siphoning plasma from our sun, it would appear that we have objects coming to Earth, and for whatever reason, maybe it has something to do with powering their craft, it could be for testing purposes, who knows? But these things have been seen and reported throughout the years. Here's a close-up of the actual UFO. Uh, very strange. Uh, and we'll just go through just a, a couple of the other instances where these things have occurred, where we have seen these UFOs siphoning off water. We have a case from December 1973 in Brandonton, Florida, where a man by the name of Patrick Trush, along with two colleagues of his, were driving on the road and noticed what they thought at first to be an airplane that was in trouble descending toward the Braden River, at which point they began following the object, driving all the way down to the river to get a better look when they came upon not a plane, but a silvery, metallic, light-reflecting object that was hovering 20 feet above the surface of the water, and what he described as a, quote, tube that extended from the UFO down to the surface of said water. 
The witness then stated that in one bright flash, the UFO blasted towards him, flew over his car, and vanished into the skies, never to be seen again. We have another case, this time in Japan in 1973 where eyewitness Masaki Kudu, who while on the job at a local lumber yard was making the rounds, had went to his car to sit and smoke a cigarette when he noticed a streak of light moving across the sky, after which he thought maybe it had been a shooting star. And again, this was right next to the bay of Hokkaido. It was at this point where the object reappeared above the waters, green lights appeared on both sides of the object, and then from the underside of the object, he witnessed what he called a glass-like tube extend out of a hatch that stretched down to the water. He also noted that this glass tube actually glowed as it stretched down to the water. Once making contact, the water began moving up the tube before finally detaching and the UFO vanished. We have a 1978 case that occurred in Guemba, Brazil where a 67-year-old man by the name of Joa Roberto was walking along the ocean front when he saw a circular object that was about 10 meters in diameter approach from the sea. He described the object as having an upper section of what he said looked like sort of a cabin that contained three circular windows. The object flew up and stopped around 10 meters above the surface waters where again a vacuum-like mechanism was seen coming out of the craft siphoning up water and creating quote a large disturbance in the water with large waves and foam it was said that they did this for about 10 minutes before flying out of sight and out towards the ocean so these were just a handful of sightings the ones that were documented at least because remember the large majority of the ufo sightings that occur all around the world are usually not reported and although strange and at some times absolutely terrifying, many people do not report these things for the fear of being ridiculed and for the fear that they'll be called crazy. So back to this amazing piece of footage here, something is definitely not right. We have this same egg-shaped UFO that was described by eyewitnesses as flying up into the clouds just before this spout appeared. We see this thing sitting in a locked position over the water at times, we see secondary spouts being sucked up into basically nothingness. They never reach the clouds. And just before the water finally dissipates, we see the same UFO that was described flying out from the clouds and at one point visualizing a triangular formation of objects also exiting the clouds in the distance, after which the spout dissipates. So, let me know what you guys think. Have you guys witnessed something similar? Research on all of these other cases where these UFOs have been seen siphoning water from lakes, oceans, etc. And you'll just, you'll get a picture of just how large this phenomenon truly is. And just how far back it goes. So, of course, stick around because we've got a few other breaking news stories that I'm going to be talking about in another video. I'm going to try to get it up today. So look out for that. Hit that like button on your way out. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys back in just a bit.